Hi, my name is Ashish and this is the new video for the Linux Azure VM series that we are working on. In this video, we will see how to manage Azure Linux VM disk with the Azure CLI. Before we proceed further, I would like to share some of the terminologies related to this topic. Default Azure Disk. When an Azure Virtual Machine is created, two disks are automatically attached to the virtual machine. It belongs to the Windows and Linux VM, both. So the one is the operating system disk. Operating system disk can be sized up to 2 TB and host the VM operating system. The OS disk is labeled dev STA by default. It differs for the Windows VM. The disk caching configuration of the OS disk is optimized for OS performance. Because of this configuration, the OS disk should not be used for applications or data. For data, for the application, we have the data disk. Temporary disk. Temporary disk use a solid state drive that is located on the same as your host as the VM. Temporary disk are highly performant and may be used for operations such as temporary data processing. However, if the VM is moved to a new host, any data stored on a temporary disk is removed. That's why it's not recommended to store any of your production data, any logs on the temporary disk that is attached by default to the SEO VM. Temporary disks are labeled as dev STB and have a mount point of stash MNT in Linux VM. And then we have Azure Data Disk. To install applications and store data, additional disks can be added. Data disk should be used in any situation where durable and responsive data storage is desired. The size of the virtual machine determines how many data disks can be attached to a VM. For each VM CPU, four data disks can be attached. And we have VM disk types. One is standard, one is premium. Standard storage is backed by HDDs. Premium disks are backed by SSD based high performance, low latency disk. And uh, the standard disk delivers cost effective storage while being performant. And uh, the premium disks are best for VMs running production workload. Premium storage support DS series, DSV2, GS, FS, VM series. Now, when you select a disk size, the value is rounded up to the next type. For example, if the disk size is less than 128 GB, the disk type is P10. If the disk size is between 129 GB and 512 GB, the size is a P20 there on. So to share the practical session, how to manage the disk for the Linux VMs using the Azure CLI, I would have to log on to the portal and take it from there. I'm inside the portal now we'll launch the Azure Cloud Shell by clicking it here I will go with create storage I'm not going into the advanced settings okay now what I will do is um, the data disk can be created and attached at the VM creation time or to an existing VM first of all I'll create a resource group by this command done now I will create a VM using the easy VM create command and if you will look closely, I am using a data disk size GB this much. Because the disk either 128 GB, these disks are both configured as P10, which provides maximum IOPS per disk. To create and attach more than one disk, I am using a space delimited list of disk size values. 128, 128, it will attach two disk in the following example a vm is created with two data disk okay i click enter so we'll create a vm in this resource group name would be my vm the image would be ubuntu lts standard would size would be this it would generate the ssh keys and would attach the two disk data disk 128 gb each okay my vm is up it has this private IP address, the public IP address and the two disks are attached. Now I will attach a disk to the existing VM using the easy VM disk attach. Now we will have to prepare the data disk that has been attached. We will SSH to the machine. Yes, I am connected. We'll do the part we'll partition the disk with F disk. Here it is. Now we'll write the file system to the partition by using the mkfs command sudo mkfs minus t x4 devs stc1. Done. Now we'll mount the new disk so that it is accessible in the operating system. Here it is. Now the disk can now be accessed through the data drive mount point, which can be verified by running tf minus h. 
here it is here it is the new drive that we have mounted data drive 126 gigs to ensure that the drive is remounted after a reboot it must be added to the etc F step file then you can add it here it is now you can exit out from that connection is closed and that is how you manage the data disk onto the Linux VM using the Azure CLI. I hope this was informative to all of you guys. Till next video, have a good day ahead and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon. Bye, take care.